Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in Python programming that is zip function, the usage of zip function. So this function will create an iterator, right? So this function creates an iterator that joins the elements from two or more iterables two or more iterables and this final iterator will be used to solve problems right so for example take two iterables some uh, a is equal to take a list 10 20 30 and take another list some 40 50 and 60 so these are the two iterables so if you zip these two iterables zip function a comma b so this will return an iterator object okay it will return the object iterator object combining elements of both a and b right and if the question is if the length of the elements both for the both iterators are uneven right for example a is equal to 10, 20, 30, 40 and B is equal to 10, 20, 30, right? So usually this will return tuples, okay? It will form the tuples, it forms tuple, right? And see, if you apply this one, a comma b what happens it returns the iterator object combining both a elements of a and b right of length of length having minimum having minimum elements of both iterables right for example in this example see a is having some four elements so a is having four elements and b is having a three elements right now the result of this one it will be zip of a comma b it will form a tuples see 10 comma 10 sorry here i will i will change the values 50 60 70 right now 10 comma 50 the first element of first iterable and second element first element of second iterable comma next 20 will be paired with a 60 next 30 will be paired with 70 so that's it because in among these two iterables only the second one is having the minimum length okay minimum length so the resultant iterator object will be pairing only the three elements the three elements right so the zip function will create an iterator that joins the elements from two or more iterables and the final iterator will be used to solve problems and usually in python it forms in tuples right so i'll show the example by executing a many things so let us take the example a is equal to or uh, 
subjects is equal to see i am taking the subjects english maths science social so i am taking four elements also i am taking the marks marks is equal to so in english uh, 90 and max 100 science 95 and social 98 now if i apply the zip of both the things subjects comma marks if i execute you can observe the zip object see this is zip object see you can up you can type this zip object for example a is equal to okay and uh, type a so it is a zip okay the data type zip so we need to convert this by using any one of the type conversion type conversion functions for example if you convert it to a list a list of so i will go with a result is equal to zip and if i take a, a see some m is equal to zip of subjects and marks a result is equal to list of m and simply if you print a result you can observe it forms a list of tuples so english is uh, joined with 90 max is joined with uh, 100 science is joined with uh, 95 and social is joined with 98 right so here if you observe the list if you give the list function the complete zip object the tuples will be formed as a list for, list of tuples or else if you give this one tuple function it forms a tuple of tuples it forms a tuple of tuples right so we know that see if you give the dictionary so it forms a dictionary it forms a dictionary right it forms a dictionary so we have to pass the iterative object to any one of the type conversion function any one of the uh, data types uh, built in data type, so that the result will be in that particular format so for example if you give an empty zip function okay and if you give to the list of a see it will give an empty list and if you give the triple it will give an empty tuple if you pass only one iterable so a is equal to 10 20 30 40 and if you apply some uh, some uh, n is equal to zip of a so it will accept okay if there is no two iterables then also it will accept now you can observe so list of n so it will give a single element we know that the single element of a tuple will represent with a number comma the value comma okay this is nothing but a tuple with a single element so finally the zip function will return the iterator in the form of tuples so if you pass that iterator to a list function it will give the list of tuples if you pass that uh, zip function to a tuple it will give the tuple of tuples right and see if we give the uneven elements just now we have seen some a is equal to or, or we will take the same example so here i am giving only the three english max and science but in the marks we are giving a four marks that means the length of two iterables are different the length of two iterables are different so then what happens so it will return the tuples with the minimum elements of a iterable so here the minimum elements of a iterable is subjects so only the three elements will be get paid see english 90 max 100 and science 95 so there is no pay with 98 so this is how we can use the zip function it will return the tuples and we have to give the uh, type conversion functions uh, like uh, list or tuples or uh, dictionary to form the a list of tuples or a tuple of tuples or a dictionary 
right so this is how we can use the zip function in python so hope you understood this one and feel free to post your doubts uh, in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much